Hi guys, welcome back to the session. Today we will learn how to perform basic authentication in JMeter with HTTP Authorization Manager and HTTP Header Manager. So let's get started by looking into when basic authentication is required. So many a times we come across a scenario when there is a web application which requires a user to authenticate before launching the application. So what I mean let me show you. So when a user tries to access an application URL then browser generates a pop-up window and asks for username and password to authenticate. So in this step that is in step 3 the basic authentication comes into picture by providing the username and password for authentication. So this basic authentication is a method for an HTTP user agent to provide username and password when making a request. Now let's look into the ways to handle basic authentication in JMeter. So in JMeter we have two ways to handle basic authentication. First one is using HTTP authorization manager and the second one is by using HTTP header manager with Beanshell preprocessor. So we will look into each of them one by one. First let's get started by looking into the HTTP authorization manager. So let's quickly jump into the JMeter and let's create a project. And this HTTP bin.org is a sample application which requires basic authentication. So we will take this for our demo. Let's quickly try to hit this URL and let's see what happens. So you see we got a pop-up to provide the username and password and until and unless we provide these details we won't be able to launch this application. So let's provide username and password over here. So now you see we are able to launch the application. Now let's quickly create a project in JMeter to see how we can handle that pop-up. So let's quickly create a project in JMeter and uh, I'm going to add a thread group. So for that right click on test plan, add threads and thread group. And under the thread group, I'm going to add a sampler. So for that right click over here, add sampler and the HTTP request. And in the HTTP request, I'm going to provide the server name and the path of this application. So let's provide it over here. And this HTTPS will come in the protocol. And this will come under the path. And the method will be get. So we have provided the protocol, server name, method and the path. Now let's add a listener as well to see the results. So for that right click on thread group, add listener and I'm going to add view result tree listener. Now I will quickly run this project to see how this HTTP request work if we have not added any basic authentication steps in our project. So I'm going to save this project as basic authentication let's save it and let's quickly run this project so you see this request got failed as expected why because we have not added any basic authentication steps in our project so you see this is the request this is the response body and this is the response header and here in the response header you say it says unauthorized so now I'm going to add the HTTP authorization manager in our project. So to add that one, I'm going to right click on thread group, add config element and under the config element, you see we have the HTTP authorization manager over here. So click on that and you see this HTTP authorization manager got added. Let's move it to up and let's see what all details we need to provide under HTTP authorization manager. So here we have some options which we need to provide. So first of all, let's click on add and here we need to give the base URL. So base URL would be nothing but the URL which you wish to hit. So this would be the base URL. Here comes the username and here comes the password. And here we have several mechanisms for authorization. So if you click on this drop down here, we have multiple options. So we need to go with this basic digest. So let's select this one. So we have provided all the necessary information under the authorization manager. I will quickly run the project again. Let's save this one and let's quickly run it. 
now you see this http request got passed so if you see over here now this is the request and this is the response data here in the response headers you see the unauthorized element is not present which was present earlier so in this request we don't have any unauthorized element present and this is the response body so in this way you can work with this authorization manager now one thing to notice over here is that I have done the authorization that is I have provided the username and password for a single user. Now in your case it could be the chance that since you are doing the load test with multiple users there could be multiple of usernames and passwords. So what you will do in that case you will put all the usernames and password in a CSV file and fetch the values of usernames and passwords from the CSV file to JMeter using the concept of parameterization. And if you are not aware of the parameterization concept, please go through this video JMeter Tutorial 7 that is how to read data from CSV file parameterization in JMeter and let me know in case you face any query. So we learnt about this authorization manager. Now we will look into another way to do basic authentication and that is another way to do basic authentication is using HTTP header manager with bean cell preprocessor. So this HTTP header manager is a config element to add headers. Now to do basic authentication under HTTP manager we need to provide the name as authorization and value as basic base64 encoded username and password so this username and password are string values but we need to pass them as base64 encoded values but jmeter does not have any base64 function so because of that we need to use bean shell preprocessor there we will create a script to encode this user colon password as base64 encoded so let's see how we can do this in jmeter now we will disable this authorization manager and we are going to add an header manager under this HTTP request. So for that right click on HTTP request, add config element and here we have HTTP header manager. Let's click over here. So we have this header manager available now. Now under this header manager, we again need to click on this add and here we need to provide the name and the value. So the name will be authorization and the value will be basic space and here we need to provide user colon password as base64 encoded value but we need to create that value so for that I am going to use a preprocessor as well. So for that right click on HTTP request add preprocessor and from here we can select this bean shell preprocessor. Now in case if you have no idea around bean shell preprocessor you can refer to my video you can refer to my video tutorial 20 and 21 here I have explained in detail about the bean shell scripts with bean shell sampler preprocessor and post processor so please go through these videos and let me know in case you face any queries now I'm going to write a script under bean shell preprocessor to make user colon password as base64 encoded. So for that let's first import the base64 class. Import org.apache.commons codec.binary.base64 Now under this base64 class I am going to use a method set as encode base64. So this is the method and under this method I am going to provide user colon password which I want to encode. But this is a string value and this method takes the value in the form of bytes. So I am going to write dot get bytes. And I'm going to assign the output of this method to a byte array. So I'm going to write byte encoded username password equal to. 
and the next step would be to use the vars function which we have learnt in the bean shell scripting session so i'm going to write vars dot put and then i'm going to create a new variable auth and the value i'm going to write as new string and this byte array so i will tell you what i'm doing so first of all i use this base64 function to encode this user colon password as base64 so this is the output and this is in the form of array of bytes so i have converted it into string and then i use this function that is vars.put which takes key value pair so this auth is a variable which is holding the base64 encoded value so under the header manager we need to provide basic and as a variable we need to write the variable starts with a dollar symbol and curly brace start and i'm going to give here auth so this auth is the variable which we have created over here so we provided in the header manager name as authorization and the value as basic auth so our project is ready now under this http request this is the header manager and this is the bean shell preprocessor please note that i had used the authorization manager under the thread group i had made this one as global but you can keep it under the request as well according to the requirement so i'll we move to view result tree and let's quickly run the project to see how it works so you see now our request is successful again with the help of the basic authentication using the http manager and the bean shell preprocessor so let's move to request this is the request and the response data so this is the response body and this is the response header so here also in the response header we don't have any unauthorized field which we faced in the very beginning of the project when we had not used any basic authentication so that's all for this session guys you can choose either this authorization manager or this http header manager along with this bean shell preprocessor to handle basic authentication in jmeter and hope you enjoyed this video and if you did give it a like and share with your friends and hit the bell button to get the updates on the latest videos and i'll see you soon in the next one bye bye